so we're back on another call trying to earn some more tax revenue to pay down that national debt all right so we are here at the control panel for this oven and what you see is the blower will kick on when you push in but then it will shut off when you release the momentary push button i believe that the fault is on the drive which i see an f007 and i believe that drive runs that uh, blower fan so for the moment i am going to see if i can reset this fault and get this thing at least started up so i can uh check into what that f007 uh fault is on this powerflex drive that reset the fault right away so i can go pull up the manual on this thing and see what that fault actually meant so here we are back at the blower start switch and i'm gonna go ahead and try to start this thing and see if it latches and it started and latched no problem so now we're ramping up to 60 hertz all right so i got my meter and i'm gonna go ahead and set it to amps ac and i'm gonna check across these three legs that are feeding the motor and see if i'm getting any weird values or values that are unbalanced let me go ahead and hit that middle phase b and we're looking like we are 11.7 amps and phase c says we're at 12.2 amps and phase a say we're at 12.6 amps if you look at it now the cycle or the program has stepped it down to 25 hertz so at 25 hertz we are reading 4.6 amps so i believe that we're only having an issue on startup when we start up that motor so the f7 is just a motor overload uh internal electronic overload an excessive motor load exists reduce the load so drive output current does not exceed the current set by parameter p003 there it is so i'm gonna go ahead and highlight that so this is kind of where we're at that is the fault p033 which is motor overload current and we got to see what that is set to all right so like i was saying i'm basically going to multiply the service factor which is um 1.15 times the uh fla which is 12.3 and that should give me 14 amps or 14.1 amps basically 14 amps is what i'll set my p0332 i believe that it was on startup that they had an issue on inrush maybe and i can also uh, change the acceleration time and i want to see what that startup is, which I didn't get a chance to check. I would have checked that, but they started the uh, cycle. I would have checked the acceleration time and see what my current value is during the acceleration. So those are basically the two things that I'm gonna check. So until the next time, stay safe out there. See you on the next one, guys, later.